Flask is a lightweight framework for Python that doesn't require a lot of configuration. This makes a good choice for small to medium size project. Flask has a lot of built-in functionality. Hi, I am Bridget and in this video we can see how we can create a simple REST API in Python using Flask. So let's get started. Alright, so I am using the Visual Studio code. You can use any other uh, editor tool uh, for creating the API. So uh, first of all, like uh, we have to install the uh, Flask, which is the basic requirement to create the API. So let me open the terminal and then to install the uh, Flask. So the command is pip install Flask. So this is going to install the flask i have already installed so it does i mean it is uh, it didn't take any time so after the you know the flask has been installed successfully we have to create one uh, file in this uh, folder app dot py so py uh, for creating any python uh, file you have to use the .py extension and uh, and in here i am gonna write some pretty standard boilerplate so first i have to import the flask And this line is going to uh, initiate this uh, app so basically it uh, uh, this line is uh, it will do a lot of stuff for us to get the request and uh, provide the response and uh, I'm going to create one uh, uh, product list I have already created for this uh, demo we can use this one so here's you can see like uh, I have created a uh, four products list ID title price and same for the other so I have taken four products over here now next thing is like uh, we have to create the endpoint so uh, for this demo I just use the get method to show you like how we can create a API so the syntax is at the rate and then we have to use the app dot get then so basically this is the route and we have to get the uh, name or you can see the endpoint. So I'm taking the product. And I need to define one method. The name I'm taking is get underscore product. And here I am going to return the list of products. So I have to give the same name which I have taken over here. So let's save this file and uh, 
now i have to run this uh, uh, rest api so basically when uh, i will uh, hit the url when i run this application it give me the uh, ip and the port and then we can run it in the browser which uh, uh, when i use that uh, url then it give me the uh, products list so let me run this uh, application all right so here you can see it is running on this url so it means that the url will be the get url will be this one http uh, colon forward slash 127.0.0.1 colon 5000 port and then we have to give the product so once uh, you know when i browse this url it uh, will return the product list so basically this method which we have created over here is associated with this endpoint so let's browse this uh, uh, url in the in the browser okay so i am in the chrome browser and uh, let's browse that uh, url so this is the url uh, 127.0.0.1 and the port is 5000 i have to give the uh, method name that is the or you can say the uh, route name that is the product So here you can see that uh, we get the response and uh, so it shows that our application or you can say the REST API is uh, successfully running in the uh, Python. So that is all for this uh, video. Thank you so much for watching this. Please like and subscribe.